do that. And I'm Richard. And on this episode, we will be carrying on in the build series. That's right, part two, chapter two of the FPV wingsuit man. man. Yes. RC, I got it. Ready yeah. to draw. Yes. So there you go. That's what we'll be doing on this episode. If you have not seen part one, click the link above and carry on in this part. That's it. Or subscribe for the entire series. Yes. There you go. And what will we be doing in this episode? And this one is all about... Ah, oh, it's all about making the suit, isn't it? We're going to make the suit. So there you go. We're going to, you're going to show you some sewn, and we're going to you be using ripstop material for that. That's just right. kind of that kite material stuff. So here we go. This should be cool. Yeah, I'm, looking forward cool. To, I'm looking forward to it. It's something I've always wanted to do. It, it is. Yes, yes. So I hope you guys enjoy, and um, like, subscribe, and follow us on all social media, including our Patreon for extra information. That's right. So here we go. In yeah. three, two, one, race. Right. Hey, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Yes, so, so we've done one. a few things since we saw you on the other last. What have we done, Richard? I've sort of just sort of cleaned up the wires, put some things in the back. I'll bring it up. So we just put a bit of um, just, installed it just bit covered it so then when we install the parachute, it doesn't just fall apart. It's all together there. As you can see, you can see the camera in there. And it's all wired up and connected like that. And there you go. So, so now we're on to the designing the wingsuit itself. And it's tested as well. It works. Yes, yes, it's working. So, um, yes, hopefully. So now, now, now for the main thing, wingsuit needs a wingsuit. Wing so uh, we've got our nylon um, ripstop here, and we're going to start making a wingsuit for it. So uh, we made up, cut up a template just here, and you'll note the interesting thing about um, wingsuits is that they have pockets. They have pockets here, here. Uh, and then so, you know, they, go, they come in different various sizes. That's not to collect your, the hold your tools, that's actually no. to allow for our air to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, it's a handy so, pocket. So, oh, I'll put yeah, so we've got pockets here, no. and then on the back they have um, a couple on the shoulders, so when they flip upside down, um, and, and, and one at the back. Um, and yeah, so you can, you know, so it's universal. But we, I didn't know if we'll be going upside down, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. It, it may do it accidentally. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So the idea of being is that air comes in into the suit. So it comes into about so here. Where the, where the little pockets are, right? So, yep. two, so, so, so here and little. here so and here. So it inflates the suit and then there's an there's a air pocket layer. So effectively it's just sort of floating on air. Right? Yes. Yeah, so if we do it right, and this should have some, when it flips over, say you're doing acrobatics, so you're coming down this way, th theoretically if this works, um, but I'm, I'm positive, I'm ambitiously so positive. So if it comes down this way and there's supply air into it, and if it flip, you flipped it upside down on purpose, um, you, it would still be the same, inflated. you could still be inflated and it won't collapse on you. So there you go, that's the idea for that. So we'll start cutting up what the... What some of the facts that you were, you were looking at on the ones here? Like Red Bull, they, they do quite a lot of aerobatics and stuff. Yes, they are very good at this. But, but uh, they, they have quite a lot of... Um, so basically, that they actually have a, a parachute that sort of sits in between... I'll find some facts, hang on. They actually fit between... The, their parachute goes on under and slash over or in the, the, um, the actual wingsuit. So wingsuit's on, he wears that, and then the actual parachute, he clips on over the top of it. So we'll do something similar, try and put like, the straps on and stuff. For the actual parachute, so the two little holes there. Um, yeah. So then the, the actual, you actually wear a little. Um, we're trying to get it as close to the real thing as as possible in, in a miniature scale. Okay. So I did find out um, from the Google um, the box. Google box um, that the first um, wingsuit in the world was in 1912. Well, uh, get the facts correct. Yes, 1912, um, and it was a French Frenchman. And he was a, a tailor and he jumped off the Eiffel Tower. Didn't make it, but that's okay. He did uh, pioneer the idea of the... He survived. No, he didn't make it. Um, but, but he did pioneer the idea of what people do today. So, thanks to his, his, sacrifice. Name, his sacrifice of Franz Richel. Do, do you know if you're sorry? You might be... R-I-R-E-I-C-H-E-L-T. -E his name's Franz. Franz? Friends. Oh, France. 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 He's French, right? Um, yes. He, okay. um, he, he didn't make it. But, but um, because of him, 
uh, he pioneered the way for what we can do today. I, I personally haven't um, done a wingsuit bef jump. jump before, but I hear that you have to do quite a few. So you here we go. Done, we have done a parachute jump before, each, but we were strapped to someone at the time. If somebody else was doing all the hard work, we were just holding on right. and doing what they tell you to do. Yeah. Like, well, put your not, head back it's and... Not, um, it's not not quite the same. No, it's not quite the same. So here we go. This is um, so, this is the quickest way to get to that uh, ability. Elite level. Elite yes. level. So here we go. Like that. We're gonna start stitching. He's starting with the back of it, right? Starting with the back, of the boot, and he's just making the side for the wrap around on the outside. If you see what we're looking at. Do you have any um, other um, facts about one suit? It's in Transformers, and I thought, was it the third one? Mm -hmm. was the last one, the ship. Shia LaBeouf. The book? The Beef? The book, I think it is. Um, the last uh, film that he was in, they did um, wing suits. They dropped in from the um, Ospreys and they came down, say, so shot grappling guns at the. Was it grappling guns or was it the parachute themselves on the. the Decepticons, and then they, then they shut out their eyes, I think it was, wow. once they swung underneath them. So, yeah, so the facts about from what the you Yep. So, it's got a wingsuit flying, or wingsuit. Wingsuiting? Or squirrel, squirrel man? Or skydiving using a web sleeve jumpsuit. I, I, I heard somewhere that um, if you're really good at it, you could get, um, for every meter you drop, you get three meters distance covered okay so it's not it's not really like you know you just fly like a plane and keep going up and down and all around because you don't have any propulsion but like a jetpack or something like that but you do fall you're always falling i guess you're gliding with style right what do you think yeah, you're <laughs> yeah your basic shape you get the basic shape and then we start working it make it look nicer yep okay but pretty much like that. That's it. See, you see. So that'll be his back here. Okay. His back here. Yeah. Cool. See you again. Okay. So um, we'll. The so next time I think what we'll do is we'll do we'll, we'll jump into the overlocker. Overlocker time. Getting him in. Very snug <laughs> suit. <laughs> Got a little bit to do with the the the, the feet section. Um, so that side's done, nice and tight, with a little, a little edge just like we wanted. Uh, shut up, camera company. Put that little edge in, makes it look a bit more like a real thing. A real deal. You, you can't have it, you know, you can't, you can't be like this. So, um, <laughs> can't yeah, fly like that. Can't fly that. So, yeah, to make them interchangeable and if we need to adjust anything, we'll put the battery in, you know, because you're going to have to put the battery in. Um, you have to undo it. So, Velcro? So, so Velcro, I think we're going to put in. So he needs a way to be able to um, get in and out quickly to get so we could do uh, in or change something or fix something on. or whatever. Yeah, so. So we've got a Velcro going in here. Basically, it's going to be like a big sock. Big sock. So it's going to go on the little guy and then Velcro, Velcro. So, people of the internet, here we are back. Was it the intranet? Remember that was the thing? Intranet used to be a thing, yes, but now it's the internet. So, there you go. We're into the net. And on this one, we won't get caught in the net. But what we will do is we have been doing a couple of extra things. I have been making some pockets, some some why do you need, why ear you pockets, pockets, if you can see, some ear pockets. Like that, ear pockets like that. So, um, and the way the other uh, true uh, wingsuits work is the pockets, uh, I'll be, be like that positioned, like I think it's about three or four of them, um, three on the back, on the designs that I could find, something similar. Three in the front, three in the back, something. Yeah, three, or maybe four on the front. Um, and um, yes, and they position themselves, and that gets the ear sucked into the um, suit to inflate it. So I don't know if they'll work on such a scale, <laughs> but but um, it's it, fun to try. It's fun to try. So so what I was doing is so I have and I and I put down a little bit of um, uh, plastic kind of thing to give it a bit of rigidity to hold it. Shape. Sorry, carry on. So the ear goes into it, right? Yes. So that will be like what position here and here? Uh, back. Yeah, so it'll be so this one is back, here. Facing forwards that direction? Oh, that there. Like that, and then there'll be sort of. And then one down like here. So, so then 
like that, so then the air can go in underneath. That's the idea, right? That's and the idea. Same deal on the front. On there's the front. Some, there's a couple down here. And yes. I think over here, is it? Right. Yeah, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. So, two uh, near the groin, two by the jaws. <laughs> Extra ventilation. Yes. So, oh, that's the designs that we could find. So, there you go. So, um, so what I've been doing is I've been doing the, the Velcro, so that way you can get it on and off. To, to, to be able to access the suit or change the suit out or adjust things like put yes. the battery in that kind of thing. So I put them in the Velcro into there and then I got to do this extra toe, but I did that one by hand. So this, this toe sticks out here. So do you want to try it on or do uh, I can try. Real snug fit, wouldn't it? But I mean, he looks fairly symmetrical. I mean, the, the, the Velcro does present a little bit of a, um, <laughs> yeah, and I still think it should look quite good. What do you think? You like it? Do you think the Velcro will um, have play have it for the our arms? Our arms should be right. Well, we have and the pockets fit what here? Yeah, I'll hold them. You hold them? Okay. What's here? Here. Oops, that way around. You make it into the shape. Into that shape. Oh, I'll just you put your finger there. You put your finger on that one. And one about here, and that'll be the suck a bit more air, so we have to cut a little bit of a hole there. Like that, but you get the the general gist of it. Yeah. Oh, it's looking quite good. It's like a. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. So there you go. That's what's happening. And um, what do I have to do? We have to. Um, we have to do. I got some more pockets at the front to make, and then we start. What are you going to do, Richard? What are you going to work on? I'm going to fix this toe. You're going to fix the toe. And then we're going to put the various other things in that we need to add to make yeah. it look better. Yep, and then, and then put the pleats in and everything. It actually looks quite good. All right. Hey, welcome back. So, what have we done since we've seen each other last? We've done a whole lot a, of hand stitching. Right? And a little bit of, um, I'll be making some pockets and Richard's been doing the fitting. So you, do, so you can get an antenna. Antenna can fit um, out there now. I've got another two pockets to add here, but I have done, so that they go there. But I have done this one here. Now you bring it up, bring it up to show. So that's the um, parachute release. Can you see it there? In there. Oh, hopefully you can see it. It's a little can white. You if you can see in there, there's a little white. No, you might be able to see like a... That's the server release. I don't know if you can see it, but hopefully you can. So, so yeah, so then what will happen is... Um, there'll be a cable from here, to, coming out of there, so the server can go. It's actually quite cool, and then it will attach to one of here. Yeah, the little parachute we're going to add. A parachute backpack, because he has to deploy it in. And then these fellas will go on here. Well, Will allow the airflow to go inside the suit to inflate the suit to get the to to make it look like the real thing. Well, um, get it as working. It's close working to as real. close to the real thing. And um, then we got. I was working on some ones that. No, uh, but I've I've made some pockets up for. Oops, sorry, I knocked the camera. So I missed the camera. Um, and then we've got some more pockets to add to the front in the same kind of fashion. Fashion. Here and here and here and here. So there you go. Quite a bit to do, but it's looking promising. Lots of lots of hand sewing and um, fiddling ma machine work as well. So um, did you ex want to explain to the people how how an ear ear um, you know wingsuit works in the in the real how this the hell this one? Will, oh, you explain how this me mechanical one will work. But how do they work in the in the um, out there with the wingsuit people? So basically. You like and this is what we're trying to do, replicate this on a small scale. Yeah, so center gravity is here in the, the mass, so we've got some battery pack here and we might have to put a bit, more, a bit more weight in the nose and a head. So, so basically, so. parachute jump off a cliff or helicopter or plane, right? So you get to altitude and then he jumps out and then he the, yep. the, the falls and then, then if they want to go fast, they tuck their nose down. They tuck, they tuck it so they're decreasing their drag ratio. And they'll lower their, their hands a bit. So, so it'll act like, and the wind will just go straight over the top, just like any um, plane. You, know, you, you see the wings on a plane, and the, the aerofoils of the wings will so straight it up, and they go straight it up into the wind, and that'll decrease the drag ratio. So you can reach speeds of like, and the real thing, you can, they can reach speeds to like 220, something like that, give or take. Something crazy Miles like that. An and then, and then the, to stop or you know, flare out at the end. We, we'd call it a flare, but but you know, so but they, Newton's third law, uh, reaction where the action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So, so, so elevator goes up, and then 
what will happen is it'll flare up like that in theory. And the more drag increase here. So and then parachute deploy on that. Yes. So that, that's what they do in the real thing and that's what we hope to achieve as well. Yes. So basically gliding, stopping. Yeah, and then, 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 then when you slow down to, um, so you can go from like, so, so you can go from 200 kilometers an hour to about 60 kilometers an hour apparently. Depending on what sort of angle of attack you're going to. And that, that's the real one. Yes. It's a glider. It's effectively gliding. Just got like that. So it's looking quite good. And the idea of the pockets uh, is so it inflates, inflates the suit and it gives a bit more um, control. In this particular case, we're using this pocket so we can also get um, the, the servo um, for the parachute. We've got on the back there. Yes. But the main thing is to get the, the aesthetics. To get the aesthetics right, and to the, get the function right. Yes. Um, and so four, four meets function. Yeah. Yeah, four meets function, and then we will get to it. So, here you go. We're learning a bit of science today. We're learning a bit of a uh, wingsuit psychology in there. And w what else can we say? Um, we'll just keep. Oh, if you were a wingsuit um, jumper, um, they normally take about, if you're wanting to do that sort of thing, um, and they normally, before you can do wingsuits, you're going to do about, was it 200? Something like that? 200 free fall jumps in like 18 months before you can do these sorts of um, exciting activities. So we, we're just bypassing all that and we're just going straight for the, the uh, wingsuit jump via this guy. I wouldn't mind doing 200 normal jumps. Okay, so, so here we are, we've just hand stitched in the um, air valve inlets you can see on the suit. There. You can see them, yep, yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna put them just on to see out. how it um, fits. fits on his body, I guess. It's starting to look like a proper suit now. It is. <laughs> um, uh, what's the next part to do? Uh, but more, I guess we'll do the, we'll do, do the light, the pleats, I think, to make them look a bit more realism. And then, what do you reckon? We'll test it out, I think. Uh, yeah, then you start adding the servos to see how the function meets the form, right? Pressure on the back. So, plus to go onto the back here. Okay. As an example, it will go like this. On the back of that, like that, as an example, and then when released, parachute deploy. All right, so here we are. Um, I've done some of the the general aesthetics on one side. You can see, so it looks more of the part. I'm just going to finish off here, and then. Replicate the same on the other side to make it look thy part. Back is done, as you can tell. Well, except for the other parts. But the, the, what I'm doing, the internal stuff. This front part here is done, and I just need to do this part at the top. So we'll get onto that. Ta da! Dum, bum, bum. That looks pretty good, eh? I reckon it's pretty good. So that's the front. And then you flick them over to the back, and there's the, the back. There you have it. One little wingsuit man, that much closer to parachute drop day. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. And uh, what are we doing? We are making, putting these fellas in. You know, every parachute needs a bit of a parachute rigging. So here we go. Okay, in three, two, one. Whoa! There you go. That's pretty cool. Let's spin them around. Wow, look at that. So there you go. That's a good start. It's a good start. So, what are we gonna do next, Richie? Um, we're gonna. Well, we're going to test the, um, the actual flaps in there, yep. and then add a bit more of a, put a symbol and stuff in, maybe add a bit of black here, maybe not, depends on what it is, it might, might be okay. Just no, I think it's fine, yeah. And just got to put our symbol on it. Symbol on it, and then just check the surfaces, and then... Paint? A little bit of, a spot of paint, I think. Yeah, his head needs to be... Oh, yeah, his head needs to be dressed up a bit. And, but I mean, overall, I mean, it looks like a wingsuit man, doesn't it? There can't be anything else, can it? What, off to the paint shop, do you think? Off to the paint shop and then and then off to finer tweaking. Tweaking and paint shop. Okay. Okay, so, so what are we doing? We've got a logo, a logo that we made up. 
of our own HR, HR. We're going to put it like here. Like there. There you go. And we're using our normal. What kind of airbrush are we using? Yeah. There you go. What do you think? That's pretty cool. So I think. On the end, close to me. This one? Yeah. That's pretty much. Same kind of colorish. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll try flat blue. Oh, look at that. Awesome. And... Hiya! Look at that. There you go. Here it is. Hiya! There you go. No, I'm, looking, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, that's going to be cool. And what are we doing next, Richard? Um, okay, I suppose the wingsuit man himself needs a bit of... a bit of paint, I suppose. Hey, welcome back. Welcome so back. there you go, uh, we had a pause there, but don't worry, we'll carry on this episode series for you, and the next couple of weeks we'll be making the, what are we going to do in the next well, Part three. We'll be doing part three, so if you haven't seen part one and two, make sure you click the link above, and go watch those, That's and right. then in the next couple of weeks, the next so, part so, yeah, will be so coming out. Is, we'll, we'll be starting the parachute building, or parachute design, parachute sewing. Yes, so we're gonna make that, do some rigging, make it all look good, make it, so, so when he pulls that, rips that cord, there's something that appears above him. That's right, so, so normally they come down 220 kilometers an hour, pull up, this is a, to, the wingsuits people, pull up to 60 kilometers an hour, install it, and then they pull their chute. Add that extra drag in, so, slow it down, so and hopefully, chute deploy. on our miniature scale, that will happen. Yeah, and then, we'll, we'll just go optimistically that it will. Yeah, yeah, so you gotta be positive. Yeah, you gotta be positive. So, there you go, so that's what we'll, we'll be doing, and it'll be exciting to see it go for real life. So, if you're excited, we're excited, let's go. Yeah, that's right. And Until then, next week. Done? Or we, you have to do the reviews. Oh, oh okay, yeah, so, so, um, channel uh, reviews. Channel reviews. So, there you go, this so, is, so no, not channel reviews, uh, h and Joe Racing movie slash channel review for this yeah. episode. Yeah, so this one is Baywatch Remastered. So, you're gonna watch David Hasselhoff. So, it's the, um, yeah, it's the Baywatch, um, channel. So, That's if right. you haven't seen the channel, apparently there is a channel out there in the, the universe, um, we just found it, so we're, we're, we're watching Baywatch. Um, and, 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 and apparently there's a, we, we learned that there's a Baywatch Hawaii, so we didn't know that existed, but it's interesting. That's right, and, and uh, saving people's lives. <laughs> it's always that, a good thing. It's always great. So, so well done to them. And a shout out to that. So there you go, that's the movie, the ancient Joe Racing movie review channel, channel. channel for this week. So there you go. <laughs> okay, something different for you. Okay, so tune in next week, we'll yes. get another one done. And, and we'll get if on you haven't that. subscribed, make sure you do so. Yeah. Give a like, share to all your friends, and here we go. And three, two, one, go! Hey,